What's up guys, He King here, as always, like and subscribe, and I'm here to do a live reaction to the uh, PlayStation 5 Showcase trailers. So, I've done Resident Evil 8, and now next up I'm going to do God of War uh, 5, technically, Ragnarok. I, I, apparently it's called Ragnarok, which is awesome, because that is the title I was hoping it would be called, and I guess that also confirms that it's going to be a big-ass game, and that we're going to get everything in that game that we... Because I think, I think a lot of people theorise that, uh, well, at least I did as well, that the second game would be more focused on 4, and then the third game would go to Asgard with Odin and that, but no, since this game apparently is called Ragnarok, I, I think we're getting everything in that. So we're going to get 4, and, it was, and he's probably going to die halfway, we get the hammer, and then and it's going to go into a uh, fight in Odin for the next half of the game. And we're going to go to all the places that we couldn't go in the first game, so Valhalla, Asgard, um... One of the areas, I think, I think the home of the Dark Elves, maybe? I don't know if we go into that one. But yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see what it's going to be like. Um, let's start and watch it now. Oh, straight away. Straight with the music. So this is a teaser trailer, it's only a minute long. Even less than a minute. The time oh, near. Christopher Judge. It's icy, because winter, winter was coming. Music's back. Okay, that's surprising. Okay, uh, again, that was underwhelming, but it's a teaser trailer, and uh, just the fact that they announced that, yeah. And plus, it confirms a lot of theories. Like I said, um, the assumption I, I had, at least, was that this was gonna, the Norse mythology stuff was gonna be a trilogy. This pretty much confirms to me it's not going to be a trilogy this is going to be two this is only this is going to be the final part of of what of what started the Norse mythology series um especially when you take into the fact into account that God of War 4 uh set up the realms of like Jap Japanese Egyptian mythology and I think another one I don't know what the other one was I think mine maybe but uh, uh, so yeah, again, a lot of people assumed this was going to be a trilogy, and that you know, four was going to be the big bad of of the of the second game, and then Odin would be the big bad of the third. But no, no, it seems we're getting everything in this one game, which is exciting because you can't just imagine how big the next game is going to be. And think about it, we did go to a lot of areas in the last game where we obviously Midgard's the main area that we were in, and then we went to Misselheim, uh, Helheim, I think. Uh, the realm of uh, the light elves, Elf, Elf, Alfheim, uh, Jotaheim, which was just sort of like the ending segment. So, I mean, obviously, there's areas that they can expand on with the next game. And then, obviously, all the new areas as well, like Val Val Valhalla and uh, the dark the dark world, the dark el the world of the dark elves. And Asgard, which should be a pretty big area, and obviously seeing all the setups that the last game did, you know, like the three dragons flying away that you rescue, and, the, and apparently they're supposed to come back in, into play somehow. Uh, Serta, you know, you sort of, I think, uh, uh, off, uh, Artus hears his voice or something, like, like when you go near the big sword and that, so... Uh, there's a lot of setup in the last game, like, uh, Fre uh, Frigga, Frigga is it? Like, she, she goes and gets her armor back. Like, cause she used to be like Queen of the Valkyries or something, and uh, yeah, and it's, again, like I said, there's, there's a lot of cell, there's a lot of little things that the last game set up that's gonna make, hopefully, the next game big and epic as hell. So, um, and, and it says 2021, that's crazy, um, God of War, God of War came out, what, it came out 2018? It was 2018, wasn't it? That's crazy, so, so in three years, we're getting the fifth one, uh, the next one. And then it makes me wonder, like, I'm, I'm assuming since this is going to be an early release as well, like, not early release, um, PS5 is coming out next year, yeah, no, this year, but, uh, and this game comes out next year, I'm assuming this game is going to come out at the end of 2021, and then hopefully, 
uh, Santa Monica is going to be spending their time making God of War 6 and that's probably going to be a new mythology 100% because if this is Ragnarok and it's, it's the end of the Norse mythology, the end of uh, the uh, Norse gods, uh, then yeah, obviously everything's going to get wrapped up in that next game, which is great, which is great because it means it means it's not going to end on a cliffhanger, uh, on a big cliffhanger anyway, and you, we're not, we're not going to have to wait years to find out what happens next. No, no, we're getting everything in the next game. Everything that was set up in the last game is going to be concluded in the next game, and I am looking forward to that. Seriously, God of War uh, on the PS4 is one of my favourite games I've played. It's one of the, hands down one of the best games I've played, and I'm just hoping the sequel delivers. Uh, I am a bit worried though because of, of Corey uh, and of Corey and his relationship with Neil Druckmann. If you've gone on Twitter and seen some of the fun sport that those two do, it seems Corey is a big fan of Neil Druckmann. Like they're good, he's good with him, he's cool with him, and he liked he liked Last of Us too. So that makes me a bit worried because uh, any sane person, any good writer. Would look at that and be like, no, that was a pint of shit. Like, if it's just him saying it, uh, in a, in terms of respect, I get that. But the amount of way that he's sort of been uh, hugging him, like uh, friending him up, that's a bit concerning because I've not seen any other other of the uh, directors do that. Do you know what I mean? It's only between him and, and 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 Neil, and it's it's getting very boring. Again, this is just the. Uh, the, the, the fanatic in me sort of talking right now like, you know, I should just kind of chill out and then relax, you know, it could just be friendly banter and friendship, but I don't know, I don't know, if I was if I was in that kind of working environment and and I played, and if I ended up playing the game, am I, am I, basically what I'm trying to say is if I had made God of War, or God of War, right, and then I ended up playing that story, Last of Us 2, as a game developer, I, w I would have been like, nope, nope, I probably would have said a few nice things, but that's, that's it, I would have said like some positives, I would have spoken my mind about the negatives, I would've just kept quiet and then I would've just gone and done my thing, I wouldn't do any of the crap those two are doing on Twitter, so that's a bit, that's a bit concerning really, like, I'm, I'm hoping the story's good, I'm hoping, but you never know, you never know, I, with, 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 with how great for, uh, God of War, War, War was it, it, it is a bit concerning in terms of, you know, how much better can you do it and it's very worry what direction it can go into, because after Last of Us 2 it's like I'm not as hyped as I would be for sequels on the PS4 now, like for the exclusives, because it only, it only takes one guy with an ego to sort of mess everything up, so I don't know, I don't know, like, I, I'm being a bit wary here, like, it's going to be one of those things where it's like, I'll probably wait for the uh, reviews and, and the reactions, and if people are legit, you know, those who hate it last of us too, and, and say that this one is actually better or good, then it's like, okay, day one, bye, but if not, then it's like, oh. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, uh, we'll see how it is, you know, have faith, have faith, but then we had faith for seven years and then that happened, so I don't know. That still hurts, that still hurts. Anyway guys, like and subscribe as always, whatever, and I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care and bye!